<clears throat> I just watched uh, <clears throat> Rich's video on trying to make the vibration thing simpler. And so uh, I've had a lot of people ask me about what vibration means and moving your vibration up and what does that mean. Well, let me let me take it down to a scientific level. Now, up till now, I think up until last year, uh, the the smallest thing that the, that scientists could see was, I think, part of a large atom. And, you know, everything's made out of molecules, and molecules are made out of atoms, right? So everything, everything that you are and around you is an atom. Now, you probably learned in school that an atom has a nucleus, it has electrons, protons, and neutrons. Now, up until last year, last year they just got a, a, mag, a microscope. I think I'll put that down below. Uh, I'll find a video on that microscope. And you can see that uh, last year they just came out with a microscope that could see the atom. Not the parts of the atom, but actually the parts of the molecule, the atoms that make up the molecule, right? So they can't, they can't see if there's electrons, protons, and neutrons. They're guessing is what they're doing. They're guessing because of the way an atom acts when they're looking at it or the things that happen, they have guessed that there is inside this atom electrons, neutrons, and protons. Now, if you look at that, that there's like a center and there's stuff going around and around, and then there's... Um, a solar system with a center and things going around and around and if you, you see a, a pattern here that these atoms when they move around because nothing stands still these atoms are always moving always moving no matter how they move and you don't need to worry about how they move everything is made up of atoms atoms have pieces in them they're always moving and they're mostly full of space so you are more space than you are solid anything. It's just an illusion. So most of this, your body, that table, that chair, that house, that car, those are atoms, and they're mostly space, and they're coming together to make molecules, and everything's moving, right? Everything's moving. And all of that movement has a vibration, a frequency. Now, you'll get into an argument about what frequency versus vibration means. Uh, to me, the vibration that I'm talking about, the vibration of you or an emotion is causing you to be at this frequency. And that frequency will plug you into a certain place in the whole creation that they say universe, and I will say way bigger than that. So you will, your molecules come together that form this body. They are made up of atoms. Atoms are mostly space, and they're always moving, and they have energy. And depending upon where you have this, based on your intent, your belief systems, you can change how that energy, those atoms, are spinning, reacting, creating a frequency, I mean a vibration, and that vibration will put you on a different frequency like changing the channels, changing the stations on a radio station. Okay? Hopefully that helps. So your everything is made up of atoms, Everything is made up of atoms, and they're always moving. That movement is uh, energy. That energy, that movement, vibrates at a certain place, and all of the things that you're doing, you're very complex. All of these belief systems, everything, every thought, every deed, every everything, will make this vibrate all those atoms vibrate a certain way that will put you on a frequency that will match you with other uh, beings and other collectives that will put you looking out so that you can see other atoms vibrating a certain way that match that story. 
That's that story. So if you are trying to move to a different frequency, then you must start with you to change that. Okay? Now we know now, I'll find some videos and put those below now. Science now knows, I think there I saw a video where they hit a paramecium. The paramecium is a, a little round um, microscopic being that lives in lakes and stuff. Uh, one of the basic paramecium and amoeba are what you use to learn microbiology with. And I'll put the video below. But what they've done is they've hit that paramecium with a frequency at a certain range. And what happened was that paramecium exploded. Okay? You cannot exist, this body, nothing, can exist on any place in this creation unless it matches the environment around it. Okay? And there's a gradual change, gradual change, gradual change. So, on a closer level, if your atoms in your body that make molecules are not vibrating right for your best frequency, that is what causes your cells to cause disease. Okay? So in order for you to get rid of the disease, whatever disease it is, then you know that you need to have your atoms, probably spinning, vibrating at the optimum frequency for your body to be disease free. So what I am trying to get you to do is I'm trying to get you to believe a certain way, think a certain way, because based on quantum physics, your intent changes things. So it's going to change the vibration of these atoms in your body that will put you at another frequency on that frequency change, big giant radio of this creation. So you're in, you are a, a entity moving along the dial. The frequency is available. Think of a big radio and you can change to a different frequency based on the vibration that you're vibrating in this human body. So in order to do that effectively, like Rich says, you can't just jump. So ideally, um, for most people, the first thing to do is to um, vibrate those atoms in this body to become disease and pain free so that you're at your optimum um, energy or vibration for the frequency that you're at. But a lot of star seeds have come in and they've never, they vibrated higher. Okay? They vibrated higher. So they're actually, they don't fit this frequency. They are, because they're vibrating just barely in the frequency range of, say, 100, barely in that vibration. So their body doesn't flow right. But it's not because they've done anything wrong. It's because they came in really barely able to exist in this frequency, on this vibra vibratory range. Okay? So as you star seeds, just try very, very hard to ignore the discomfort that you're having, the disease that you're having. You're having it because you just all, just barely are fitting in the frequency range that you came into but the point was for you to come in vibrating high so that as rich said you could coax coax and help others come up to that vibratory range so that they can go to the next frequency which is was 4d now we're going to 5d okay so if you will it and i know this is hard guys i know i do it every day but if you guys can ignore the fact that you're having this pain and this disease process and understand that it's because you came in high, you knew this was going to happen before you got here. But the trick is to understand that because you came in vibrating so high and you simply, you had a choice, 
you could lower your vibrations, at which point your body would have evened out and a lot of the diseases would have gone away. And many of you probably tried that. But the discomfort in your soul would have been very, very heart, heartbreaking. You would not have felt good in your soul. So many of you have opted to stay. At the, you probably tried this and went, ah, ah, ah. Rather, my soul felt good and my body felt like crap than vice versa. I know that's what I did. So what I've done is I understand that I'm vibrating way, just barely keeping myself within the fourth dimensional range. Keeping my eyes focused, understanding that that's where I'm at. Understanding that the, the, that's where you guys are, are, what you're doing. And I continue to try to give you knowledge, cues, hints, anything to get you remember who you really are. Because the second you remember truly and mean it, believe it, know it, that you are a God, then you immediately, quickly understand that you can change those vibrations in those atoms that make up this body, raise it up to match the vibration, uh, the next frequency up where you came in from. So you're soul part of you needs to bring the body part of you up to that vibration at which point all of that pain all of those diseases will go away because they can't help but they can't help but it's kind of like me saying and i'm not going to tell anybody do not i will never ever say stop your medicine stop going to a doctor it's not what i'm saying if you're going to a doctor and if you're using medicine, you have belief systems in those things. So to stop them would be detrimental to you. You must keep doing those until you can replace those knowing that you are a God. You control the vibrations of this body. And you must connect that spiritual part of you with this body part of you. Connect them together so that your spiritual body can say, Hey guys, I know you've been vibrating in the in this frequency in 90. We'll call 3D 90 on a radio scale. But now we're at 95. And this is what it looks like. So follow my lead. Follow my lead. I got this. Follow my lead. So that body will follow as you vibrate at your spiritual 95. It will come up to, your body will come up to that 95. Things start flowing. Synchronicity starts happening. Disease goes away. Pain goes away. Relationships drop off. But better ones come in. Everything starts flowing. Now, as you're together, you can head up to 100. Okay? For, uh, high 4D. Now, we're going to go to 105, which is low 5D. You see what I'm saying? Only you've got to bring these two together. All you star seeds. You've got to bring that body, that vibration of that body to match your spiritual vibration. You've got to grab hold. You've got to bring these two together. You've got to have a talk with the two consciousnesses that are your, your spiritual self and your body self. And you've got to bring them together. You've got to mesh them together. And you've got to say, we are one. That's your first step of we are one, by the way is taking your conscious you, your spiritual you, and bring it together with your body you. That's the first step of we are one. Okay? It's the first step. Now you're going to, once you're together, and you star seeds, you won't, you won't come down anymore. So you're going to have to grab hold of that body, have a talk with the consciousness of your body, which is why I say, look into your eyes in the mirror. Look at a full-length mirror, especially women. Love every inch of you. Pull those, those clothes off. Look at every side and love every single bit of that body. Every aspect of your body. I want you to love it unconditionally. It doesn't matter if it's old. It doesn't matter if it hurts. It doesn't ma Nothing matters. You love it unconditionally. 
And with those movements, you can join your spiritual self with that body self. And you star seeds can bring that body's vibration up to the frequency where you're sitting. And when that happens, your body will feel better, will feel much better. Now in that oneness that your body and you are now at, you can raise frequencies together. Now that you've done this, now we're going to reach out to the family members. And this is going to be like G-Men said, it's going to be like this. That, that's what we're going to do next. Whether it's with one person, like Kimmy and G-Men came together. Soulmates. We're all soulmates. Anyone can be a soulmate. We are all one. All of us are soulmates to each other. Choose anyone. Choose anyone you like. Anyone who wants to do it with you is your soulmate. And at that point, you join like your body, your, your, your spiritual self. Come together. Two, one. Now this one and another one. Whoever it is, I don't care who it is, it doesn't matter. Come together and that makes one. Now that comes together, we in our collective, we all come together and agree. And with videos and with talking with each other and with comments and with energy exchanges consciously saying, I'm a part of that, we all become one. And eventually what we will do is we will merge with another collective, you see. And then that collective will merge with another collective as we move up into 5D. And when we get to 5D, we will be one collective of humans on planet Earth in the fifth dimension, and then we will start joining the plants, the animals, and the aliens that come from afar. Okay? That's how it works. That is how it works. And you're vibrating at uh, sadness is a different vibration that when you vibrate in joy. Uh, scientists can, can uh, measure that now. Look it up. Or I'll see if I can put that below too. It's a different vibration. Like attracts like. So you want to do this, right? Right? Which is why I say happier and happier and happier. No matter what. And no matter what means pain and disease. That's a part of no matter what. Understanding that, okay, some people have to deal with um, alcoholism, drug addiction, uh, homeless. Uh, yours may be pain. Yours may be disease. Okay? It's just one of the many things that causes an individual, a body, to stay in a low vibratory state. Yours is disease and pain. Somebody else's is this or that. But I'm asking everyone to not look at that anymore. Those were very effective plans to help the human body stay at a low vibratory rate so that spiritual consciousnesses could come in and play in this form at those low vibratory rate. But it is your desire now as a part of this collective to be in this human body state and raise your vibration to reach a different frequency and to join with each other towards unity consciousness. Okay. Now, hopefully, hopefully I'm trying rich to put the, that in um, scientific, believable terms that are verifiable by science and yet understand it on a beyond science level. I noticed the other day that, that the scientists have measured uh, the electrical activity between atom to atom, something in the books that I went to school in my science and micro classes said could never be done. It's been done. 
And that's why I encourage those of you who are science and math people to understand that you only know what you know. There's so much more. There's so much more. And certainly there's nothing wrong with figuring it out as you go. And certainly that's what 4D is all about. Hugely taking it from what you know as a 3D, 4D human out into the big bad universe where there is so much explaining of how all of this scientifically and mathematically does work doing what I just told you happens. And you can see it. You can do it in slow motion. You can understand every step of the way from every perspective. That is the point of 4D. But for those of you who don't care how it happens, you just want it to happen, this is what we're doing. This is the explanation of why I talk about vibrations, because everything is vibration. Everything is made of atoms. Atoms are always moving. Movement is energy, and energy movement is vibration. Okay? All right, guys, let's see how that works for you. Um, thank you for your wonderful video, Rich. I appreciate it very much. And thank you, Jeremy, for your loving videos. They are so gentle and kind. Uh, lovely vibrations. Uh, G-Man, wonderful, uplifting excitement there. And everyone else putting their videos up. Um, are you understanding as you put these videos up, guys, that I w what I was trying to accomplish of us connecting to do this it's harder to do that when you don't know we don't know you're there well i know you're there but they don't know you're there and there's just a handful of people commenting so a handful of people um putting their videos up it if we're going to do this as a family it's easier if we can know each other a little bit better now if you're too shy it's okay we'll find you eventually eventually we'll see you we'll find you anyway stick with us it's not a necessity but yeah, it does help. It does help everybody to get that excitement and that energy exchange. And it makes us uh, grow faster and raise vibration faster and get to the next frequency faster. Okay? All right, guys. Uh, let's let you listen to that for a while and see what you think. Okay? Huge hugs. I love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.